Look what happened today. The wood burner. Oh my gosh, is it not beautiful? Ah, oh, this is gonna be such a cozy space in winter. I cannot wait. I can't wait. I'm still gonna put the chimney do 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 elbow do 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 another elbow into the actual chimney. So the flute goes up. Do do do. I need two elbows, which I've got. Woohoo! Oh, this is going to be such a beautiful, cozy room. I can't wait. I am going to move this all over a little bit because this couch is too close to the fire. So that is definitely going to shift. Oh my gosh, it's going to be wonderful. The only thing I still need to do for winter is to cut a cat flap into this door. This is the kitchen door so that I'll be able to close this door in winter, keep all of the heat in here, and the cats will still be able to get out of the kitchen studio <laughs> into the hallway doo -doo 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 -doo, and out the cat flap out of the front door um, which you can see now so they'll be able to get out there and out of the cat flap that'll be in the kitchen door i know it's a little bit strange to have a cat flap in the kitchen door but i think it makes sense so that i can keep this door closed and have the heat contained um, I'm going to build these shelves tomorrow for sure. I know I've been saying that for about a week every day, <laughs> but yeah, it's happening. I've already started unpacking the actual tools that I'll need to do it. So there we go. It's a start. <laughs> but overall, I'm just absolutely overjoyed having the burner in its proper place now. Um, I had a beautiful friend, Matthew, help me put that there. Yeah, when you got uh, four hands, it's really easy to do certain things, especially heavy lifting. So very grateful. Thank you, Matthew. That was so super nice. I also did want to mention that I have this silver protective material. I think it must be aluminium or something. I'm really not sure. Maybe really thin metal? No idea. But this is a material that is going to protect the couch from the heat. Uh, so I'm going to put that on the couch somehow. I'm going to connect it to this. No, actually, I can't connect it to the couch because the couch actually opens. So I guess I won't actually be able to fasten it to the couch. So that will be an interesting mystery to solve somehow. <laughs> Maybe the easiest thing to do is just to really shift everything over away from the fire. Um, and then it'll just stay loose, I suppose. That doesn't look really good. Hmm, I'll have to think this through somehow. Okay, update on the heat situation. Still hot. I went out today to find out exactly how hot it is. And I got this. So, let's see. From what I can see, it looks like it's 33 degrees inside. Yep. Made in China. The cheapest one I could find. It was one love. So there we go. 33 degrees. It feels like 40. It's also very stuffy in here. I am now, I don't even know, like hobo style. <laughs> I'm just blocking out as much sun as possible. It looks quite bright in the camera. Um, in real life, it looks really dark, actually. This whole room is pretty dark now, but on camera, it looks pretty light. So, a little bit misleading, I think. But underneath this green lime blanket, I've got the shade cloth, of course, so it's a double layer of sun protection. I've been eating watermelon. It's helping a lot because I feel very dehydrated. I've got the fan pointing on frozen spinach. I've got frozen water bottles and in there, there were about a million ice cubes and they've all melted. So I've basically just uh, put myself in this room, put some fan on ice cubes and just trying to keep this room as cool as possible. So it's 33 degrees inside this room and that's cool. <laughs> it doesn't feel cool. Um, I'm just waiting for the sun to go down outside so that I can go outside and water the plants and hopefully they're still okay. 
Um, as you can see here, I've got an AC tube. Tomorrow I am going to build a frame for the exhaust. That's that tube thing here. Zip, zip, zip. That tube is the exhaust or the duct. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm just really, really hot. Um, it's the duct to let the hot air out of the room when I turn the AC on. I've borrowed the AC from Mike. Thank you, Mike. Thank you so much. Lifesaver. Um, and this here, I'm going to use to build a window sort of frame block thing um, in this window over here, that window, this window here. So I'm basically going to put this uh, polystyrene into that window, cut a duct size hole into it so that the hot air can go out and the window will be blocked so the hot air cannot come back in. So basically just a hole to exhaust the hot air out. And that's happening tomorrow because I can't do anything today. It's so hot I'm just gonna sit down and eat watermelon in my little hobo kitchen. <laughs> Bailey is very unconscious. Smudgy is not very pleased to be stuck in a room. She hates not having a way out. So she really wants to have a cat flap there. I'm gonna have to do that ASAP, it seems. I thought I only needed it for winter, but apparently summer. We're also trapped in this room a little bit, aren't we? Oh dear. Yeah, so tomorrow I'm going to put the AC in this room. And then I think we'll all feel just slightly better. I'm not going to run it a long time. It's very expensive to run an AC unit, but just a little bit, just to get the temperature down a little bit. Yeah, Bailey is not comfortable at all. Oh, sorry, Bailey. Tomorrow, okay? Heat wave day. <laughs> this is what cats look like on heat wave day. Hey, Smudgy. Hey, Smudgy. All right. Oh, hi, Smudge. Is it hot? Hot and stuffy. Let's see what the temperature's like. Um, oh, it's gone down. It's only 31 now. Only 31. Great. The sun is also nearly setting now. Look at that beautiful wood burner. I guess you can't really see it. Put on some lights. Yeah, it's difficult to see on camera, but Wood burner is pretty. <laughs> Smudgy has still lost her voice. Hello. Oh my goodness. Sorry, it'll come back again soon. Oh. Hey, Smudgy. <laughs> is this just the cutest, sweetest, most adorable cat in the world or what? She loves the sofa. She, that's why I put all the blankets on there because she also sheds a lot of hairsies. Look at that face. Oh my gosh. Bailey, you are so cute. You are lying. <laughs> yeah, so I put lots of blankets on there just to protect from her cat hairs. Um, she also has a tendency to scratch the couch, so I have to protect the corners of the couch. <laughs> but also, I might just have to make peace with the fact that this couch is going to be a scratching post because i don't have a scratching post in the house actually not an official one bulgaria doesn't do scratching posts and if they do they are extortionate amount of money well now apparently i've bought a 300 lev scratching post so <laughs> uh, as long as bailey is happy cuteness update she could not be more cute Stretching those little paws. <laughs> Bailey has moved slightly. <laughs> oh my goodness, this cat. Incredibly adorables. I think that might have been the max movement for today. From here to here. 
She might go and get some food later. <laughs> I think that's it. Oh, There's not much else to do on hot days. So I think this will be mainly July and August. Um, yeah, I think that, that makes sense. Siesta months. Today, today is going to be a swimming pool day. Look at this. Roses. Oh, also I have to show you this. Look at this. Wow. I hope you can see them okay. I can't really tell because it's really sunny and shady. Um, so there we go. Oh my gosh, aren't they beautiful? I think it's a type of hibiscus. So yeah, today it's going to be a swimming pool day. It is so hot. I don't know how hot it is. It's hot enough to make my hair do weird stuff, but that's not really special. That happens all the time. Um, it must be just part of the heat wave. So anywhere around mid thirties is probably accurate. So I'm very happy to be at the pool. This is going to be great. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. The button should be there, there, somewhere over here. <laughs>